The world hosts an unprecedented 7 million refugees, with about 1.3 million of those in Uganda alone. However, their concerns about the welfare of these vulnerable people and the Global Compact on Refugees Conference in Ethiopia is sharing ideas on how the international community can come up with solutions to help. Uganda, a global leader and example in refugee management, was lauded for including refugees in its social services national plan. Uganda and Djibouti have also taken on important roles as co-sponsors of specific focus areas of focus, including education, jobs and livelihoods, energy and infrastructure. The sector response plans in Uganda on education, health and on water and environment map out investment needed for the inclusion of refugees into the national service delivery system. The first intervention we make as a government is to restore the dignity of refugees. Uganda State Minister for Relief and Disaster Preparedness, Musa Echeru, implored African leaders to deal with conflicts that fuel the refugee crisis, also calling on European countries to extend a helping hand if they do not want refugees to cross into their countries. So give us the facilitation and resources to improve a few things here and so that we can protect your countries from being invaded by those who are desperate. Whereas Uganda maintains its open door policy, there are many challenges. Because there is a lot of stress on the uh, facilities that we have, the water sources, the schools, the health facilities, the roads. We have a school which is supposed to be hosting 600 pupils. Now DRC has offloaded 7,000 pupils. In December. Switzerland will host the first global refugee forum to brainstorm on the refugee crisis. According to the UNHCR, protection of women and children is crucial simply because when it comes to refugee problems, it's them that suffer the most. Ali Mivole, NTV, Addis Ababa.